Interestingly, what our, our study demonstrates is that um, you know, patients who are using the medication um, you know, tend to use it when coming from different medications. And um, one of the things that I get the most questions about when we present this data is, well, how did we handle washouts? And that's the time uh, in between when you stop the previous medication somebody's on and when you start the ocrelizumab. And our response is always that you know, there was some variability. On average, it was about, I think, eight weeks is what we showed in our trial between one medication and the other. Um, and I think that it really depends on, you know, it's, you have to have an individualized decision and it has to be based on the mechanism of action of the medication you're coming off of, um, how quickly you think that medication is going to stop acting, um, how active the patient's disease activity was to start with. So people who have very highly active disease to start out with, we tend to try to minimize that washout period as much as possible because they're at risk. We know that if we take away a medication that goes away quickly, um, they're going to have rebound activity, especially within the first several weeks after starting the medication when they're relatively unprotected. So I think the bottom line for clinicians is you know, keep in mind the mechanism of action and the timing of the action of the medication you're using previously. Um, and also try to kind of make sure that you're aware of how active the disease is. And in general, we say tend to minimize the time the patient is off therapy.